for those of you that don't know us, I'm Ollie. I'm Alicia. And we are here at Art in Life Close. Um, so it's another project of ours that we will be doing a weekly vlog on or about. Um, this is going to be an interesting and really exciting project for us. Um, how long have we been trying to buy this house for? How long did it take? Uh, well, since February, it was bought a few weeks ago, we did in December, so a really long time. So yeah, we uh, have been working hard to buy this one. Uh, the vendors just didn't want to sell at their price. Um, but yeah, we got there in the end. So what we're doing with this project is we are going to turn this house into a six bed, six bathroom HMO. Then next door there's a garage and um, potentially we're going to try and take, remove a tree and almost do a little mini development on that site and, and add another house there. Is that the plan? Yeah. Yeah. Um, another but rental property. Another, yeah, it's going to be, so what are we going to do with it? <laughs> so we're hoping to get a three bed house. It might be a two bed house depending on how much space we've got. Um, but the plan is to either rent it out as a whole house or wow. have a mini HMO, um, so a two or three, four bedroom HMO, something yeah. like that. Yeah, because the garden, it's not big enough, there's no garden at the back there, so it's not really going to be great for resale. Um, but uh, it's exciting, it's the sort of first little uh, adventure into developments for us, really. Mm -hmm. um, we're pretty confident with it though. Um, and we obviously know what we're doing with a HMO. So we're going to get this part of the house cash flowing for the client. Um, I think they bought it cash, haven't they? Yeah, so we need to get it up and, up and running. And then I think they put a mortgage on it to realise some cash. So um, we'll obviously show you a little slidey slidey uh, video as we usually do. But for now, I'm going to jump behind a camera and Alicia's going to show you around the place. So um, hope you enjoy this uh, vlog that we do. And uh, yeah, let's get on with it. Right, so obviously we're stood in the kitchen and this will remain the kitchen. It's quite a big kitchen. So the thoughts are we might block this bit up um, to make some more unit space and open up this wall. Now there was actually an opening in here before where the hatch is, because um, when I spoke to the vendor, he said it used to be a doorway. So Hang on, let me just show them the kitchen. Nice. See that? So yeah, by taking down this wall, we'll make it hopefully open plan and then we can have a sofa area in this room and this can be the kind of um, lounge, chilling out sort of room here, into one of the downstairs bedrooms. So as you can see, this is the lounge currently and it's huge, it's really, really big. So um, we're gonna split it in two and then we're gonna have two en suites here um, in the middle. So each room will have their own en suite. Now the client wants us to explore whether we will also build an extension um, out the back, which is what's currently the conservatory. Um, I'm not sure, we'll explore it and see how, how things pan out and whether it's worthwhile doing. Um, but yes, at the moment the plan is just a six bed. Uh, so if I take you through, I can walk the whole way around this house. So this is the hallway with a um, well, Dad says toilet. Um, what we're probably going to do there is bring the toilet forward and use the space behind it for the water tank and all them sorts of utilities. And how we access it, I'm not quite sure at the moment. We might have an external door, might have an uh, internal door in the kitchen, perhaps. I'm not quite sure, but um, that's quite a good big space for us to put all those sorts of items. So um, that's the plan there. This is just uh, under the stairs cupboard, which probably just keep, you know, tidy it up and make it look a bit nicer um, and that could be for uh, tenants' uh, shoes and stuff. And then probably the washing machine, tumble dryer, etc. will go here as well as under the stairs storage. So I'll show you upstairs for, for the next bit. Okay, so we've got some really good sized bedrooms up here. If I take you into this one first, so the thoughts are here that we will be I think creating an ensuite here, either here or here, I'm not quite sure yet. I've got to do a bit of playing around with the design. But as you can see, there's really good size cupboard. So we're going to take some of that space and either use it for this bedroom's ensuite or next door's ensuite. <whistles> so 
So yeah, this might be the smallest or second smallest room. So yeah, obviously taking some of the space for the ensuite there, or this room also has its own little cubby hole, which we could come out a little bit and utilize that space. This is the bedroom that backs onto that. Again, it's got its own wardrobe here. So I don't think the wardrobe will be enough to have two on suites. We might have to take some space from one of the rooms. Um, but again, like I said, I've, I've got to do a bit of playing around to see what's the best layout to use the best amount of space for each room and then give each room an on suite. So then we're going to the final bedroom. So we've got an airing cupboard here. So my thoughts with this bit, because what is currently the bathroom will probably turn into an ensuite all for this room because it can't really be used for anywhere else because if you see the stairs come up here which makes this area a bit useless um so my original hope was that we could get two en suites out of this room so for that room and for that room but i don't think that that's going to be possible so really we probably just give this whole room to that bedroom and then I sort of thought about moving the doorway to here because then you get even more space and you then don't have to, and giving this airing cupboard to this room as well so this room which is quite small though it meets the the standard um the regulations actually could benefit from a bit more space if we just maneuver that and use that cupboard a bit better so you're going to get an extra sort of, what, two square metres, something like that, um, by taking that out or, or rearranging it a little bit. So, so yeah, that's, that's the walk around the house. Um, I mean, there's quite a lot to do here. Like I said, there's, there's a lot more sort of thought that I've got to go through with um, the, the plans and stuff. So we're going to measure up and, yeah, we'll, we'll show you what we create. <laughs> Isn't that, should we show the garage and all that on the outside? Yeah, we can show you the outside, so um, we'll go downstairs now. Okay, so um, this is the garage that we spoke of in the video, um, and this is the space available. So I don't think that we'll be able to come right forward in front of the house. We might have to step it back a bit. Um, and obviously we've got to take that tree down, which is actually causing damage to the property anyway. Um, so my plan is to ask the council to remove it or us pay for it to be removed but we need their permission um, and then decide what we're going to do with this place but the, the plan is to either build a semi-detached or a detached house here and get as much space as we can from it um, so we can show you in the garage so you can see what space there is and then you can see also how little garden space there is and why it can't really be a project that we can then sell on right so there's already some footage of this in at some point in the video whether before this or after but yeah, so this is the footprint, and if I show you outside, so if, you, if you can see, the back wall is actually diagonal, so it takes up part of... See the crack? The tree. So, obviously the house stops here, and you should have about this amount of garden. But obviously this is taken up by the um, garage and I don't think that this would be enough space um, to, to warrant it being a saleable property. Um, so again, it, it's still in the kind of plan stage and what we're going to do with it but my initial sort of thoughts is that this needs to be a rental property and like I said it might be a mini HMO, um, it might be you know, a, a buy to let, I'm not quite sure. Um, it's quite noisy because the, the main road is right there so again adding to the saleability of the property it's not that desirable perhaps um but yeah so as i said upstairs uh, when we've done the plans we've decided what we're doing with it and obviously we'll take you along for the ride and you can see how it turns out um, but yeah for now um, take care